Welcome back to Cross Stitch the Globe. I'm Stephanie. I'm Allison. And this is a channel about cross stitch. And this is a day we are really excited that we are finally filming this topic. Yay. So if you saw, you obviously saw the title, unless I guess it just like auto played it, which it does sometimes. So today we're doing um, the very first video in our free pattern series. Yay! And we're going to start with um, free summer patterns. Now, <laughs> I don't know if I already said this, but this is a channel about cross stitch. We have three kinds of videos on our channel. This is a floss tube extra, which is a deep dive into a topic we don't have time for in our regular floss tube episodes. Um, we would love to share this kind of stuff in our regular ones, but we already talked for two hours, so we can't add any more to that. So we break those out and we publish them separately, and so we're excited. Um, then on every other Monday, we have our full floss tube episodes, which if you're not familiar with a floss tube, it's a very specific, very deep dive into our personal stitching. They're super fun. If you've never watched one, we do it. Um, we started doing them because we were like obsessed with all the other floss tubes out there. Mm -hmm. There's so many good ones. It's a wonderful community. It's so much fun to do too. Yeah. So if you haven't seen a lot of them this episode, or go back and watch our other ones. We always list really good people to go follow. And if you subscribe, our next uh, Monday video will be our next floss tube episode. So, right. and then on Thursdays, we come up with like short beginner tutorials. They're mostly for people who buy patterns from our Etsy shop, but putting them on YouTube means they're available to everyone. And even experienced stitchers are invited to watch those and leave your own wisdom in the comments. So, um, all right. So, for today, we'll prep, I'm going to preface this with a couple pieces of information before we dive into what the patterns are. So like the setup and everything. Now, first of all, we this free series was born out of our most expensive series because that series was designed to make Allison uncomfortable and for you guys to enjoy her being uncomfortable on camera. <laughs> and people, and it I was really used. And also it was really fun. It was a success because people loved watching yeah, your reactions really to how expensive patterns because it gets and books can be. Who knew? I was, I think I was in the majority on the comments. Oh, like, totally. oh absolutely, Allison. That's crazy. Totally. Until yeah. then you're like, oh, wait a minute. Now I need Now all. I need all of them. <laughs> and I have the most expensive patterns. So, um... The compromise for that was like, okay, well, we'll do this expensive series, but we'll also do a free series for frugal, budget-minded stitchers. But also, even if you're not, some of these are so cute. They're You'll be so really excited good. to have them in your collection if you go. Um, and all of the patterns will be linked in the description, so you can go download every one of them. Now, we're starting with summer, just because it is summer here in the United States. Now, I know it is not summer everywhere but you can save the patterns now and pull them out when it is summer or getting or you can stitch them now so you can have them as gifts for next you know right. so we know seasonality is not perfect for everyone but um if you're a seasonal stitcher you can just save this for when it is your time mm -hmm. now when we said we were going to have a free pattern series it took me a while to wrap my head around what that would look like like how what the format would be because the most expensive pattern format is I go do the research and then I show them to you and then people see like you're like utter horror and they also experience <laughs> their own utter horror. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but for this that didn't really make sense yeah. um so um but then Katrina from Tartans and Threads said something in one of her videos and it clicked for me like because she had said like one of the things people write really like about our floss tube episodes is, is that we have very different styles and what she said was she was excited to see what we would each pick and I was like oh well that's what we'll do so we have each gone and found between like, the goal is to have at least 30. You guys know in the in the title if we made it to 30 or not. But um, we each have gone out and found about 20 patterns that are free that you can download um, or screenshot. So they're free for everyone, not just like limited time or whatever. Um, and we're gonna show each other and then we're gonna show you at the same time. So we'll go, it's kind of like we did a scavenger hunt on the internet of like, what are our favorite free summer patterns? And I bet we both found a lot more than we pulled yeah. um, because there are some that like aren't our personal taste. So we're gonna show each other what we found. Yeah. Um, and then we're gonna, in the description, give you the directions for going and getting them. Now, what we're not gonna do is show the pattern because even though they're free patterns, the reason people put out free patterns is to say thank you to their like customers um, or to design when they're not like professional designers. So it's fun to just get something out, but they're not like interested in doing like a whole business. 
but a lot of them put out free patterns to get people to go to their Instagram account or to go to their website or to sign up for their newsletter um, or to go to their Ko-fi or Patreon. So we're gonna put in the description the way that the designer wants you to find their pattern and that's how you should go find it. So even though it is a free pattern, you're not supposed to just give them around, you give out the information. Yeah. And now we also, if the designer chooses in the future that that pattern will no longer be available, then, then yeah, somewhere. they get to choose that. So if they take it off their website and the and the link no longer works, and like ten years in the future or something, that's up to the designer. We're not gonna be the people distributing the pattern. So we're found the patterns, we're gonna share them, and we're gonna give you the original way to go find. Um, yeah, I think that's everything people need to know. So. Um, we have a whole, we have a whole lot of these planned. We have enough topics of patterns that are free that we could do these once a month for like five or six years <laughs> so definitely if you're interested in this topic subscribe yeah because um these every extra won't be one of these but these will be coming out fairly frequently and um we might have a lot of breaks for the dog so i'm gonna go give him a treat um <laughs> we'll be back in a minute <laughs> all right and now we're gonna dive into our favorite free summer patterns yay, yay. all right what do you got first? Okay. First one is a Barbara Anna Designs. Oh, I bet. I'm, you have that one? I bet I pulled this one too. Oh, but we'll okay. see. Well, I thought it was so appropriate. Oh, that's the wrong one. That, I think it'll be really fun to see how much of our tastes overlap and, how, and where they don't. That, yeah, it could be very different. Where's, hold on. Oh, photos. All right, so yes, I did pull this one. You so did? This is Strawberry Dreams by Barbara Anna. It looks like this. And um, did you find it on her? her oh, I found it on her Instagram account. Oh, okay. She like, has a link to her Kofi. Yeah, so, um, okay. So, uh, my first one is Itty Bitty Bee Pen Keep by Pinker and Pumpkin. Oh, that's cute. I totally would have picked that one. <laughs> well, that's the thing is like, I think when we've done like 10 of these, we'll each be like, well, there's a hundred places to go for a free pattern. So oh, yeah. we can't each pull the same stuff, even if we wanted to. This time we might have, I went to, cause this is the first time I've been like actively searching for free patterns. Yeah. So I went to places of like, oh, I like that person. I tried to go to places I didn't think you would you go, but I know we have at least one more overlap because Probably. of um, just our specific tastes. All right, what's your next one? Okay, so then my next one is, oops. Oh, and these in the description will be listed in order um, with both the pattern name and the designer name. And some of the, sometimes freebie patterns don't have like a, a normal name, but if you, I doubt we'll have too many of the same designer over and over again, so just pay attention to who the designer is. Okay, the next one is by Heartstring Samplery. Okay, oh, I don't have Three anything peacocks. by her. <gasps> I didn't see this Isn't one. That cute? Okay, so you guys are seeing it here. Where was this one? This one is on, um, oops. It's an actual reproduction and it's on their website. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I did not Heartstring see that one. Sampler. I don't know if I went to her website or not. I love yeah. Heartstring Samplery. Okay, um, so this one is by the Artsy Housewife who does a lot of repatterns, but this one is, is, I can only find this one located on the Fat Quarter Shop website, and it's called Ocean Posies. Oh, that is adorable. I love that. And it's that. not tiny. Like, a lot it's of, not. a lot of freezer are super small. Yeah. I think this one is 140 across. Oh, my. That's a great size. Like, ah. Uh, okay. That is so cute. I'm already, I'm already obsessed with this series. Oh, I know. Me too. Okay. Okay. You okay. ready for this? Yes. All right. Jan Hicks creates. I have nothing by her. Okay. World Cross Stitch Day free pattern. Okay, show me. Okay. <gasps> Isn't that me? Guys, it's just sunflowers. It's so cute. Okay, I so you're seeing it. I love sunflowers. Oh my gosh, I'm Isn't obsessed with that. I, I didn't see that one at all. When I was starting my other one, just like I started a different one, and it was between these two, so yeah. I have to do this one next. Okay, so this is one I have shown you guys before because this was in my 2024 plans video and you've seen this before because this is by Al Forest and I bought the thread pack oh. for it because Al Forest has a Love lot of Al good Forest. freebies and I bought the thread packs from them for a lot of their freebies. This is Summer in the Village. Oh, that's sweet. That's pretty big. That is a big. <laughs> it was originally on my list to start the summer. I think I'm going to save it for next summer because I'm a little overwhelmed and yeah. I want to start 
I'm, I'm other, you guys, if you follow our foster, you know. Um, but that I have the thread so pack for it, so I'm goose. definitely stitching this one day. Look at the goose. I just love the little oh, cow. Oh, the cow. And also, this is not a small freebie. It's not. <laughs> Look how Most big of that the Al Force ones are really big. Yeah, yeah. I, and I, I love stitching Al Force freebies because I feel like they put as much care into their freebies as they do into their, like, even their, like, their sows and stuff for all three. Yeah. But, okay, what you got next? Okay, all right. Satsuma Street. Okay, I think we have this one. Okay, Summer's Flight. Yes, we both okay. have this one. All right. And you guys can see it here. It's so cute. I love it. I oh love my it. gosh, it's so and cute. And the description is like late summer turning into fall. Like this would be a perfect pattern to stitch in August. It's just the when colors. You, like, oh my. If you're somebody who is ready for Halloween, if you live in the Northern Hemisphere and you're somebody who's like ready for, for Halloween and like fall stitching and like fall colors. Yeah. In August would be like so perfect. That's a good one. Okay. Um, okay, so this is from a blog called Happiness is Cross-Stitching by Lynn B. And the pattern is called Strawberries in Summer. Oh, good grief. That's cute. It's tiny, and you could totally turn that cat into Franklin. Oh, my God. He would be so cute as that cat. Oh, he's holding a little strawberry. That's a good one. Okay. Which is a good one. This okay. is good. It's flying by because it's like, oh, actually all of these are wonderful. Aren't they all great? Okay. This one might be one of my favorite ones. Tiny Modernist. This is the one I thought you would have guessed that I picked. I think I have this one, but let's see. Okay. Tiny Modernist. And I couldn't find yep. a name for yep, it. Yep. So I just called it Sunflowers. I, yeah. So I, it came out in 2022. I think there was a few sunflower patterns that all came out in 2022 that were like for Ukraine. Yeah. Like because Ukraine, like the sunflower is symbol of Ukraine. But, um, well, the yellow with the blue sky is like the Ukrainian flag colors. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I couldn't figure out if it was related to that, but I did pull it. And it's tiny. It's very it's tiny. It's so cute. It's adorable. Um, and it doesn't say like don't use it for anything else. But I do think there was a reason that 2022 had a lot of sunflower patterns mm -hmm. in the world. Okay. Um, this is A House for All Seasons, Summer, by Brooks Books, because she has, I actually pulled, I thought I was going to stitch these, because I thought I was going to stitch the Summer House while I watched Summer House, but oh. then I haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, Summer House on Bravo, and also Summer House Martha's Vineyard. Um, but I ha I um, ended up, my last reality TV stitch is taking a lot longer than I thought, so like I'll get to this in a few years. Oh. But the whole house series is really sweet. But is this a summer house? And they like, you know, Brooks Books has like some of the yeah. best freebies yeah. in the on the out there. And this is from 2013. That's wonderful. Um so all right. So we'll just see it. Okay. All right, what do you got next? Okay, this is Hands Across the Sea. And I want to stitch this. Okay, hands across the sea. I couldn't find a hands across the sea somewhere. Oh, hands across the sea. <gasps> Pretty Polly. Oh, isn't that, doesn't that give you like total summer, summer tropical vibes. vacation yeah. vibes? Absolutely. I think I've seen that pattern before and downloaded it, but I don't have it. Like I don't, when I went to, I mean, I, when I went to look at Hands Across the Sea, it's a website, I couldn't, I didn't see anything that I was like, oh, oh this will be good for this. Well, I'm sitting on a beach somewhere with this um, bird. That is really cute. So beautiful. Okay. My next one was Sunflowers by Tiny Modernist, and then Summer's Flight, so let me skip those. I must have been in a, like, what would Allison do? <laughs> okay, the next one is called Sea Biscornu by the Cute Mermaid Designs. Do you have this one? Mm -mm. Okay, so it's a mock-up, and the oh. way, you guys can see it, the way you would do the Biscornu is you would either do the top and do a plain bottom, or you would stitch this twice. Twice, okay. Um, but I've never s assembled the Biscornu, so there's either. lots of good videos out there on how to do it. <laughs> Not, nah, don't come to me. Yeah. But... How cute is that? That's very cute. Oh, adorable. Okay. All right. Um, I this one's Lizzie Kate. I've never Oh, I've never stitched a Lizzie Kate. I've never stitched a Lizzie Kate, but I saw it and I was like, I would totally stitch that. It's called Sweet Summer. Oh, that's so sweet. I know. I couldn't find a picture where it was done. I'll try to find Can one. Mock it um up? I don't have time to mock it up before because that would take a like we have to we have to we're filming this on, on Memorial Day weekend, so I have to wear, I'm like editing it instantly so that we can get it up today because it's Monday. <laughs> okay, this is one I bet you have. Um, okay. Summer Celebration by Hello from Liz Matthew. No. Oh, this is the one I assumed you would have. Oh, no, so, no, no. Well, then maybe, I don't know how much more overlap will happen. <gasps> that's so good. Oh, that's gorgeous. And if you're going to join my birthday style, if you're seeing this like with the year it comes out, my birthday style is 
um, in July. So my birthday is July 16th, but it's the Sal's anytime in July. And um, it's stitched on any Liz Matthews whip or new start. But if you didn't want to buy a Liz Matthews pattern, this is like a perfect July pattern. That to is stitch. great. That is a great one. I love it. I how sweet. Okay. Cute little bees. All right. Um, so, so far we have three overlaps, I think. We have three. Tiny Modernist, Setsuma Street, and Barbariana. Okay. All right, what you got? All right. Um, so I went, I'm going to do my Mar Mirabellias because I have more than one on here. Oh, okay. Okay. So um, my first favorite is Mia Mermaid. Oh, the one where she actually started and I'm stitching right now. So. And um, so she's already stitching it and yeah, I've already, so you know what that I know what it looks like. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, and, and I have, I found a picture of it stitched. Okay. Up, so I put it in the last video stitched already. Oh, good. Okay. All right. Um, so our, the next one I have is, obviously this is not going to be the summer pattern for everyone because it's patriotic, but mm -hmm. I tried not to have much patriotic stitching. This is July 4th by Plum Street Samplers. Oh, I really like that. And I would totally do it probably without the word. Like, just the flag is really cute too. to just me. Just the flag is cool. But um, I really, I think it's really pretty. all patriotism. Yeah. Um, That's awesome. So, you it. guys are seeing it. Nice. Okay. And I'm not a huge patriotic stitcher, but I really like that. Yeah. Um, okay. My next one is also a Mirabilia. Um, and it is oh, uh, Lumana the Hula Dancer. That's really pretty. It is just so summer for me. I really like her. I've seen her before, but I yeah. didn't pull her. She's super cute. And you guys are seeing her. Isn't she adorable? Free. Maribel. Well, what's cool is a lot of times with Nora Corbett, like when there are retreats, like Queen City Sister Retreat and stuff, um, if the retreat has is like a Mirabilia theme or if Nora Corbett's attending the retreat, a lot of times she'll do like a retreat pattern. And some of those be are never released, I think, but a lot of them then end up getting released to the public, which is super fun. It's really cool. All right, so my next one is um, another pattern for people who want to be stitching Halloween and spooky, but it's too hot. Um, Welcome Campers by The Witchy Stitcher. Did you oh, pull this? no, I didn't, but I've seen it. It's really good. Yeah. Um, Somehow, I didn't. Oh no! I, yeah, yeah, I love it. It's a little summer camp. I theme. love it. Yes. All right. Which? What, what do you have? This video is going to be like thirty minutes. Okay. If. If. Okay. I went to the DMC site. Oh, I went to the DMC site, but I pulled a different one. Oh, I like that one. Isn't that cute? Skeletal cat. That's so <laughs> me. That is so me. Another twist, spooky twist on summer. I like that. Mm-hmm. I pulled one from their website, but it's totally different than that. Oh, okay. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and do that one now. I pulled Summer Mexican Flowers. Did you see that one? Pro? Yes. Oh, I love that one. Yeah. It was, oh. To me, it was giving like Jan Hicks color Absolutely. vibes, but um, uh, especially because she has like a lot of Mexico inspired patterns, yeah. but it's on the DMC website. And I didn't actually download the pattern yet because you have to make an account. And I didn't yet. <laughs> oh, I have downloaded a lot of the DMC stuff. So you guys are seeing that here. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't it crazy that you literally could stitch only free patterns? Now, you would still spend a lot of money on cross stitch because even these free patterns sometimes call for chronic and oh, yeah, beads yeah. and you still got to get the, the threads and stuff. But yeah. you could theoretically never pay for a pattern. Yeah. Um, all right. What do you have next? Okay. Lindy Stitches. Oh, okay. Dear, uh, for you, dear human. Oh, okay. That's her new one. I don't think it's new. Is it new? I think it's really new. Oh, it is. When did it come out? And you guys are seeing it here. But yes, I don't know when it came out. I feel like it's very new, but like, it might not be. Like this week new? Yeah, like it came out in the newsletter oh, recently well, new. Oh, there you go. It's very cute. It's right here. Little summer, well, I, it's probably spring to summer. Like it'd probably be like a great thing to be stitching in May. It's oh, like, maybe. Um, because the palette's so like soft. I don't know. I just thought like those flowers are so pretty. And like, look at that corner. That's so, oh, neat. so cute. I love how she uses blues. Yeah. Okay. So my next one is, um, Juneteenth by the Shaded Stitchery. Have you seen these? Mm -hmm. on? Okay. So she just released a series of four patterns that are all celebrating Juneteenth, but from different angles, like celebration and like, um, let me pull up the picture. So you guys are seeing the picture now, hopefully. 
So she's got nourish, gather, mm -hmm. celebrate, and then one that's just plain. And they're all free. You can download them together. Like you can now, you download them separately. We can do yeah. as many of them as you want, but they're a series. Um, and if you are uh, not from the United States and you don't um, know much about the history of Juneteenth, it's uh, this is obviously another America-specific um, one. I really didn't pull very many America-specific ones, but this is one. Um, Juneteenth. So during the Civil War, um, Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation, which set enslaved people free, but there were a lot of stipulations about who that applied to and where, and then obviously information wasn't like flowing freely into places where enslaved people were living. And so in Texas, by the time they found out, it was like June 19th, 1865. And so a lot of people have chosen to celebrate that day because it was like kind of a last, like the last people were told, but also it had a lot more to do with like doing it for ourselves as opposed to like, this is just a tool of war. So while both things are great, Juneteenth has become like the most prominently celebrated version of um, enslaved peoples being freed in the, and mostly freeing themselves in that situation um, in the United States. Um, so it's a really important holiday, not only to the black community in America, but it is, um, I think it's becoming recognized by more by everyone that this is a day we really should be paying attention to. And That's so great. these patterns are so beautiful. That's so great. I love them. Yeah. So go download the download those on June 19th. Would be a great day to start one. Yeah. All right, what do you have next? Okay. Um, ink circles, and this is the perfect, the perfect summer one. Oh. It's called Lobster Bouquet. <laughs> I didn't realize there was an ink circle. Yeah, there's an ink circles. There's okay. two inks. Well, we shouldn't ever pay for patterns again. <laughs> You have two, I didn't see a single, I don't know. I have two wings or That's awesome. Okay. Yeah. The next one I have is Petite Stitches by Prineberry Lane. Um, it is, okay. How cute are these? It's a tiny, yeah, little oh strawberry God. pinky, a strawberry, strawberry, and then this like little sewing. Oh, tiny shoe. Yeah. Oh, how cute. Like oh. these are on 36 count. So they're small to begin with. Yeah. But, like how cute are they? Oh, I that is so cute. Um, I don't want to make that strawberry now. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Okay, I'm going to go back to ink circles because okay. I love ink circles. I love ink circles. Okay, four in the bush. Oh, Isn't that cute? that's super cute. It gives me like um, sitting out in a garden. Kind late of summer, yeah. like colors. Like yeah. summer, it's all kind of like summer's flight, like late summer into fall. Yeah. That's really cute. Isn't that pretty? These would be and great. you could change the colors. Oh, totally. <laughs> but also, um... For people doing uh, like ink circles round robins, you could totally do like a free ink circles round robin. Yeah, if you for sure. To. How cute is that? Okay, so my next one is by, it's from the East Coast Crafter website, which is Helen D, who we love and respect and who does so much for our community. She has a series of patterns that are all kind of similar um, in style. This is beaches, bikinis, sandals, and sunscreen. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And she does have another one that is a patriotic stitch, but I really was trying to like minimize how many like America centric only <laughs> patterns I pulled. That is adorable. But how cute is that? Oh my gosh, I went to the slip flops. And she has it finished into this cute little pillow. Oh my God, that's so cute. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. okay. I didn't even process, my brain didn't process yet what's in it, so it's cool. Sorry. Okay. All right, the next one is um, a la di da. It's called Little Tree. Oh, it's a little apple tree. That's really sweet. And I was thinking, like, they're not very distinct, they're just round balls, but it could be an orange tree or a peach tree. Yeah, or, or a lemon tree. Or a lemon tree. Or you could do like a row of all of them. Well, I mean, how pretty would that be? That's really sweet. So uh, pretty. Oh, like alternating. You could have your own little orchard. Oh, gosh. Guys, so this cute. is really fun. This is Get one clean. of the most joyful videos to yeah, research. Yeah, this is fun. Uh, especially with... That was my dog. I know, but it's like, are the dogs trying to come in? Did they develop <laughs> opposable thumbs? Okay, so the next is... Okay. So this is patriotic in color, but you could totally change it to be more like summer colors if you don't want to do a red, white, and blue theme. This is Twirl by October House Fiber Arts. Oh, I found that one too. Oh, <laughs> I did. I and I was like, "Oh, that's so gorgeous!" And I would do it as the patriotic. Colors. I would do it as a patriotic too, but yeah. like, if there's nothing about it where you couldn't just change it to like some other summer colors. Yeah. So you, if in the U.S. you could do either, or if you're not in the U.S., yeah. it's still like a good summer feel, and that's then you might want to change it to like yellows Absolutely. and oranges and greens or something. Oh, those but. cute little pinwheels. I love it. 
Okay, I think this is my last one. And it is another DMC one. It is Wild Skull. Oh, I love that one. That's like, really pretty. Those are so such me. pretty wildflowers too. And look at the butterflies. Oh, so pretty. Little monarch butterflies. Okay, well, I have a few more. And since we're this video is shorter than we thought, let's just go ahead and do okay. all of them. And then I'll just count at the end. So whenever it might say 30 plus, it might say like 36, like whatever you guys know, we don't, before well, we do, count. yeah. <laughs> um, okay, this is called Summer Free 2020 by Crochetta Gogo. And Crochetta Gogo has multiple summer patterns on their website, um, but this is the one that spoke to me the most. Oh, that is really And pretty. it's pretty big and a lot of Aww. freebies are smaller. This one is not, I mean, it's, oh, yeah, it's, not. it's 80 by 80, but it's pretty, dense yeah in that 80 by 80 yeah so you'll see it here you guys might that be seeing kind of a blurry version because i looked and i couldn't find it any like mock-up or anything she might might be some something that's kind of blurry heavily recommend you go check out it on the website because yeah. it's so pretty oh that's so pretty um all right so you're done um let's see yeah i'm done go ahead okay i have oh i only have two more okay, okay. and one only came out yesterday so oh, okay. the last one i have that was like on my like traditional normal list is by Dirty Annie, and she has a series of Gulf, or they have a series of Gulf Coast animals, um, and most of them you buy, or Gulf, it's called Gulf Coast Treasure, it's called Gulf Coast Treasure, and there's eight patterns you buy, but then she has a border on her website that's free, and in it is a brown pumpkin, oh, wow. and since we grew up, our relatives yeah. live on the, on the Gulf in Texas, I, th I think this is not Texas golf base because there's a magnolia tree which is not really the part of Texas that our family's from but we have seen brown pelicans our whole life yeah. in the summer oh, so you so could cool. just like you can just stitch the brown pelican yeah or you could go in and say like okay I actually want to do this whole thing and then yeah. purchase the other patterns nice um but a lot of these other ones are more Louisiana Mississippi like crawfish gators in oh. the part of Texas we're from, where Boris Brown Pelicans is like, I have a million pictures of pelicans. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so my last one only came out yesterday. I know you saw it. Um, so Erin from Steel City Stitchers has her kittens, and we oh, love yeah. her kittens. Yeah. And yesterday, which are like, I don't, my purse is over there, but they're like these little metal, like almost like larger Altoid containers. And yeah. you buy, when you buy them, you have like scissors and a needle minder, and you buy these little kits, but then she has some free patterns too. Um, and this one, um, it's, it's a, it doesn't have a name. The pattern doesn't have a name, but it is a rocket pop. Oh, I love and, it. um, at first I was like, oh no, I, it's, um, I didn't want to share just the pattern and I couldn't get it to, um, blur up, but then I saw she actually yeah. stitched it. So I was like, oh, perfect. That is so cute. Oh so gosh. I'm going to, when I finish the kits I have for our, my kitchen, cause I have three more, Yeah. then you can just buy, she started just putting the PDFs on oh, okay. Etsy. So, but you also, I might try to stitch this as well. Yeah, summer. that would so, be a good. How one. cute is this? That is so cute. So I can just kit it up myself, and you guys are seeing the picture. It has the little kitchen in it. I can just yeah. put it in the kitchen myself. Yeah, but it's so sweet, a little rocket pop. So that was like, literally came out yesterday because it is Memorial Day and it's Memorial Day weekend, and so like, these patterns just feel like this is the this is a good day for the summer it. patterns. Yeah, today so, is when summer starts, school's over, summer begins. It's in the, very nostalgic. In this part of the yeah. U.S., school is over. Like, my son had his last, his last day of school last week. Yeah. But, um, like, in Philadelphia, they go for, like, another three weeks. Oh, they do? When I taught oh, in Philadelphia, I was a teacher in Philadelphia. Oh, like, if you've watched Abbott Elementary, it's exactly correct. Like, it is exactly, it's, like, it's, <laughs> so, um, I taught in a school that, look, that looks exactly like that with teachers who are exactly like those people. And um, you go from, like, um, uh, like, early September to mid-June. Oh, hot. In an unair conditioned building. Hot. <laughs> on the fourth floor. Okay, well, in Oklahoma, everybody's on summer break. Yeah, summer break just started, and we are, like, this part of the, it's very much, like, Memorial to Labor Day is, like, very true here. So, like, we are, like, we have a pool. We're going to a pool party. Are you going? I might go. Um, we're going to a pool party at our cousin's <laughs> house this afternoon. My son is so excited. He said, I'm going to my cousin's house. Aww. Um, so, uh, well, this, I thought this was going to be an hour long video. So this flew by, especially once we cut out, like we're not, it's not even going to be 30 minutes or barely. <laughs> so, um, 
thank you guys so much. I really encourage you either. Okay. So go download all the patterns you liked because they can disappear at any time. Um, and then maybe by next summer we'll have like, cause we'll be doing, we're going to be doing more and more and more of these. But, um, now every time I see a summer pattern, I'm just going to save it for like yeah. a couple years when we're ready to do a part two of this one. Yeah. But, um, we have enough summer patterns. We never need to buy anything, well, but I will be buying things anyway. We always do like Christmas, like Christmas in July is a thing. People do that. What if we started doing summer in December? Because you only have one month. Like the reason people do Christmas in July is because you need the extra time. I know, but by the time I get to December, I might be done with my Christmas. December. I will not be, but you were, I mean, in Australia, I would be because I'd be yeah. like, <laughs> Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to kit up the rocket pop, which is so cute because I haven't started in my other kits and it's just three colors. So I'm going to yeah. get that up and then, um, I'm going to save my summer in the village, but I, I, I'm going to make sure I have all of these patterns saved for next summer and yeah. I'm going to slot some of them in because some of them are not small. I think I'm going to do the tiny modernist, um, sunflowers just cause I could do that in like, like a kitten. You I could put it. that in the kitten. You could literally do it today. I could do it. <laughs> Whereas I have like a bunch of models to do left to do this week, but next summer, next month will be, and I'm doing a ton of Christmas in July this year. So maybe I will, and I don't want to start my big summer in the village and I'm doing secret garden for my birthday by hello from Liz Matthews, which yeah. has very spring summer vibes. Very beautiful. But maybe I'll start that su summer celebration by her too. Well, maybe I'll do the Liz Matthews freebie you just showed. That's what I was saying. I know, but I'll, maybe I'll do it. Okay. Maybe let's start it together. Okay. We can start it together on July 1st. We can do that. Kick off the birthday cell. Yay! All right. Well, we're railing because we really are not used to it no. taking this little amount of time to film a video. We don't know what to do with it. <laughs> but if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. We'd love to have you on our big floss tubes. We'd love to have... Um, our big and little floss tubes. <laughs> <laughs> we would love to have um, your like input and expertise um, in the comments on our tutorials. And this series is just starting. And like I said, I know how to break topics down into their mind most my new thing so we will have a lot of free video freebie videos for years to come so definitely subscribe if that interests you yeah all right thank you guys so much bye, bye. yeah